or taking care of something. That is stewardship. That's how the dictionary uh, uh, defines it. But the Bible stewardship is utilizing and managing all resources God provides to his own glory. Are you understanding? Utilizing and managing all resources that God has provided to what? To his glory. The challenge we have is a lot of people are provided for by God but they don't know how to manage what God provides. John 3.27 is very clear. A man can receive nothing from God except it be given by heaven. Do you believe? Except it be given by what? By heaven. John answered and said, a man can receive nothing except it be given him from where? From heaven. So which means everything we have is from heaven. Do you agree? Everything we have is from what? It means the car you have, heaven permitted you to have it. So which means those resources were given to you by God that you supervise and manage them to who? To his glory. But the challenge we have is that when God blesses us, we use our blessings to hate other people. We use our blessings to become arrogant. We use our blessing to undermine other people. We use our blessing to treat other people as if they are half human. But when God blesses us, the blessings in us, we must manage them so well that they give God the glory. And when you can do that, or when you do that, God is going to add the blessings in your life. I will talk to you about the secret of a bow and arrow. Genesis chapter number 27. Thank you, Father. Genesis 27 verse number 3. Genesis chapter number 27 verse number 3. Yes, sir. Now therefore take, now I pray therefore thee, take, I pray thee, I pray thee, thy weapons, listen, thy weapons, thy quiver and thy bow, thy quiver and thy bow, and go out to the field, and go out to the field, and take me some venison, and take me some venison, continue, and make me a savory meat, make me savory meat, such as I love, such as I love, and bring it to me, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that I may eat, that my soul that may my bless soul thee before I die. May bless you before I die. Isaac want to release a blessing. The ultimate story of this, or the ultimate result of this story, is to do what? To bless Esau. And the ultimate story and intentions of God is to bless the church. Holy Ghost Firehouse. Tell your neighbor, God want to bless me. And tell your neighbor, God has blessings for me. So Isaac is seated old and the eyes are dim and is carrying blessings in the hands. And Isaac is a type of the father God. And the blessings he's having, he wants to give it to the son. And who is the son? The son is Esau. And what does he say to Esau? Listen, my son. Take thy weapon. Take thy bow and arrow. Go into the field and hunt. Make me silvery meat, such as I love. And after that, my soul shall bless you. Every blessing is attached to your bow and arrow. Every blessing is attached to your weapon. The challenge we have today, we have a lot of people who want the blessing. Now listen to me. When Isaac is speaking to Esau, he said, I want to bless you. But you know what is going to make the blessing accessible or possible? Take the weapon. The weapons of what? Hunting. Which means the weapons were kept somewhere. They were not sold. They were not destroyed. They were kept somewhere waiting for the dead to be used. And the reason why the weapons are there is to be used so that they may connect him to a blessing. There is no hunter who had no bow and arrow which they called a quiver. And 
the father said, I want to bless you. But listen, take your weapon. Take the bow and arrow. Go and hunt. The challenge we have today is that many Christians want to be blessed, but they have never invested in the weapons. I'm coming to you now. A lot of you are not poor. The only problem you have is that you don't know where your weapons are. That's why the father says, go take the weapon. Take the bow and arrow and go to the field for me. You go and hunt. After that, my soul bless you after I've eaten. Now, a lot of Christians come for prayer, but they have never invested in the weapons. And a lot of people we have today, they have weapons, but they don't know those are weapons for their own prosperity. They are praying for God to give them breakthrough. Breakthrough is already there. I meet too many people who are broke today, but they are not supposed to be broke. The only reason they are blind to the weapons they have. That's why the blessing is not coming. I'm going to help you today. You need after today to take your weapon. Tell your neighbor, get ready to take your weapon. So the first stewardship is the first stewardship of the weapons. You must understand your weapon. If you are in business, your business is your weapon. If you are talented, your talent is your weapon. If you are in ministry, your ministry is your weapon. If you are called by God, your calling is your weapon. Are you following me? So you first of all need to learn how to handle and how to protect, manage, supervise your own weapons. But black people, they don't know how to handle weapons. You have a weapon of a talent, but you're not using it. So the father is saying, take the weapon, the bow and arrow, go to the field. Because without this weapon, you can never hunt. And if you can never hunt, you can never get your blessing. So what is it God want to use to give you prosperity? What is it God want to use to connect you to blessings? And you are seated on it. One of the things you do when you have got weapons, you sharpen them all the time. If we talk about military weapons in our country in South Africa, they go according to technology. They upgrade them. Are you following me? They upgrade the weapons in the military because weapons are changing every time according to technology. So you need also to make sure that your weapon is sharpened. Our cars are weapons. Some of our cars are too big. And they are rotting and they are doing nothing. But I came to tell somebody, until you learn how to manage those weapons, first of all, you must be a good steward of your own weapons. Am I talking to somebody? Some of our houses are too big that they are weapons of prosperity. How many of you got houses and rooms where you have only put wheelbarrows and yet you can make money out of it? Those are weapons. But the devil has spoken to you. Never do that. And you continue suffering. But you are every day kneeling down. God, give me prosperity. God, give me money. You must first of all understand weapons. Somebody say weapon. I want to cut off your heads today. So that you may become what God wants you to become. The weapon has got now what we call the bow and arrow, which now you're going to use to go and strike an animal. But the point we are at here is that a lot of us don't understand the weapons that we have. God will never bless you, name Mary, straight from heaven. God will give you a weapon. And when you don't use your weapon, you'll be crying and you're going to hate people. Because you don't understand what God has given you. Some people got broken vehicles in their homes. Those are weapons they can use to start up businesses. Because some of these cars, when they broke down, they were valued at 50,000. The longer they stay, they will come to 10,000 rand. And the church is quiet. 
There are many buckies here that are not supposed to be moving around just like that. They are supposed to be carrying stuff because that is the weapon for your prosperity. Somebody shout hallelujah. You have weapons. Until you understand weapons, you are in trouble. Now, this is those who have. Number two principle I want you to know. If we are going to be successful in stewardship, invest in weapons. Don't invest in things that are going to work against you. Invest in weapons. Whatever you get, it must sustain itself. You must tell yourself, if the worst go to the worst, I'm going to pull a trailer with this thing and I'm going to survive. You don't reach a place quickly where you want to be driving a Lamborghini. Take your time. Take your time before you go for that Lambo. Take your time before you go for that Rolls Royce. Take your time before you go for all these luxury cars. You need, first of all, to have something. If the worst go to the worst, you turn it into a weapon and it gives you money. But a Lambo, you're not going to do that. Ask yourself, what is my weapon? If it's not education, it's not business, it's not a career, what is your weapon? And you must not be lazy to, su to supervise and to manage your weapon. Don't allow anyone to steal a weapon from you or make it blunt. Have you met some of the people here? I I've just, I just, I'm just dealing with something. I'm not going to go so much in details. Whereby this young girl finds this man. And after finding this man, she leaves the place where she was staying. Somewhere in Natal. And she follows this guy. And this guy is not telling her how she should survive in case he's late. So you are following a person who never gave you a weapon and you turn a man in a weapon who didn't even sign with you. You're not entitled to his estate. Are you following me? I want to open your eyes. A lot of you ladies, you give up your careers. Are you following me? You give up your careers. Why do you give up your careers? You give them up for marriage. Say, no, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to do this thing with my husband. I'm, we're going to be selling cars, me and my husband. So I'm going to give up to be a manager at the bank who will be selling cars. Are you sure? Are you very sure? Now, let me help you. Let me help you. But if you are married to a man who is not having resources, is your husband, it's important for you to sharpen his weapon. There is nothing wrong to invest in his life so that his weapons may be sharpened. When the weapons are sharpened, there will be blessings in the family. Not just a person who never married you. He must marry you. I want you to be more clever in this church than anyone else. Here are the arrows in your hands. I want you to throw the arrows through the window. And this guy threw three arrows and he stopped. And Elisha got angry and said to the man, you would have continued to strike the arrows because you only threw three arrows. You're going to have three deliverances or three victories only. But you would have continued to do it. How many of you stop your breakthrough when you're at a point where things are working? The things where business is open, you decide to go on holiday. How many of you do one thing and you think you have arrived? You buy one house and you think you have arrived. The Lord has given you grace to do more, but you don't want to do more. Here is a man, here is taught. You throw, the, you throw the arrows. He throws three and he stops. And the prophet said, because you only threw three arrows you shall only strike these people three times you would have done it five or six times I came to talk to somebody when it comes to stewardship and when the Lord starts to help you listen to me, when you have got weapons, you must keep increasing them, you must not reach a place where you say, I have got one house I'm going to pay for it for the next 35 years so you don't think about a house anymore I have got a car, you don't think about a car anymore, Though those things you are having are arrows. But I pray for you today in Jesus' name. That you need to keep on increasing them. Don't stop at number three. God still has something in store for you. There are some of you here. You have got one business. And you are already stagnant there. And you think that is the source of your income. But God wants you to diversify. And start another thing on the left. Another thing on the right. Another thing in front. Yes, but the challenge we have today. You are having three arrows. And you have already stopped and 
you are resting but in this last generation god shall use people who are saying i can go into construction i shall go into catering yes, i sir. shall go into building yes, i shall sir. go into whatever yes, i shall sir. go into tailoring yes, i shall sir. go into input and export you must tell yourself i shall not throw three arrows and stop I shall throw five i shall throw six i don't want to limit my source of income stewardship is to make sure your weapons are increasing 